a bit of a damper as far as the numbers uh, are concerned. Uh, before I go into other questions, just for our viewers, uh, what's really been happening? Why, why this uh, dip in, uh, in your profitability and the overall financial performance? So the first reason for the, the margin dip is the mix of revenue from a core connectivity in data to the digital portfolio. Right? And our digital portfolio was, uh, you know, in the in the twenties two uh, two years ago. Uh, this quarter, it's come to thirty four percent. Right, so we are increasing the digital component of our data portfolio, and with that, there is going to be pressure on the at the gross revenue level. The second reason um, is again we had called out last year that we are going to be investing um, in uh, in people both at the front end of the sales in uh, in the markets, especially the international markets, where um, today our revenue share in the international markets is small. Uh, and we believe there is a big upside and white space available in the international markets. So we said we will invest that. The second is we said we would invest in continuing to strengthen our products and platforms uh, and building solutions. So there again, you know, they added over a thousand people last year, and that cost is coming into um, you know in the last few quarters, and you know we are seeing the effect of that fully uh, uh, through this year. Now, these are the two reasons uh, what uh, uh, you see as the main reasons, and third, of course, is um, you know some of the inorganic growth uh, that we have invested in. Tell the sort of new investor in the market who looks at your company where you stand vis-a-vis -vis competition today. Yeah. You have you have other companies that have invested in uh, submarine uh, data sure. transfer capabilities. Uh, yeah. How would you describe uh, your company to them? Already we are exhibiting characteristics that are very different from a, a regular telecom player. Right, So uh, that is one. So we are on our path to become a... What we are building on is our core strength, which is the power of our network, you know, uh, uh, which is what I explained to you, you know, a, a third of the world's internet uh, is on our network. We have a very large messaging infrastructure around the world. We have a, a large voice infrastructure around the world. And these are the core uh, foundation, if you will, of, uh, of what we have. And on top of that, we are building these platforms that will address the digital needs of our customers. So, for example, the B2, the B2C customers of ours, when they want to interact with their consumers, today they have many challenges because those, uh, how they interact with the consumers are very fragmented. So, people do SMS, people do WhatsApp, people do voice, and there are many, many interaction channels that are there. With our Digo platform, with our customer interaction platform, we are converging all these conversations and interactions with their consumers and also bringing intelligence to make it more contextual. So that is the platform that we are working on. That's the platform that we've launched. So we are building um, capabilities on top of this. Now, what is this platform leveraging? The platform is leveraging our voice capabilities. The platform is leveraging our, um, our messaging capabilities around the world. So that's what it's leveraging on. But we have built these capabilities on top. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.